Hey, how's it going, YouTube? Today, we're going to be going over the three differences between all of DJ's uh, level two, which is his festival, and I guess the main differences between them, and uh, an easier way on how to do the Marvelous and Headliner uh, Sunrise Festival. But uh, yeah, without further ado, let's just go over the quick uh, differences of like between all three moves. So the first headliner, uh, the first level two, it's uh, there's no rhythm or key buttons required outside of hitting the actual buttons it requires you to hit, which is, you know, light punch, medium punch, heavy punch, light kick, medium kick, heavy kick. And that's about it. And boom, that's about it. But with the other two, it requires a, a beat. And you can still finish it, but if it's off beat, you do significantly less damage. I'll show you. Yeah, the, da the damage is, uh, it it's terrible. So they definitely want you to actually Laid the the button mashing. Well, not the button mashing, but you know, they want you to hit it on cue. And usually, like the first three punches when you do do it, it's a bit fast, and then it slows down with the kicks. So it's like da 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 da. da. I'll, I'll show you. Oh, I messed up there. And you see the damage there is way better. And then if you do the third version of it, which is the heavy punch, it just does a little bit more damage. And if you do mess up at any point in the uh, the button mashing, like you get like the first couple of them right and then uh, the rest of them wrong, uh, the damage on each hit is still amplified, but the second you mess up, uh, every hit after that is not as powerful uh throughout the super and you no longer get the uh the two the option of the two finishers funny enough i was trying to mess up there and i didn't mess up i'm sad but i'm happy i landed it though and usually if you're if you're not good at landing uh the or getting the timing down for the the other two festivals, it's better to probably just do the light version of it. Cause it doesn't require and it it does it does technically it does the most damage if you're off beat. Because you're just hitting the buttons. You're not really you don't really care about the uh, the timing of the uh, of the buttons really. But if you are trying to hit it in The damage is definitely worth it though. And then that also, that was the other ender, which basically causes you to switch sides. Uh, I don't know when you're ever gonna use that unless you're in a corner and you do that. That's probably the only time. But yeah, I mean, I, I personally think like, uh, at least what helps me land it easier when I do do the rhythm, uh, waiting uh, like, like a millisecond uh, when you do initially hit the button and then essentially waiting for the cues to come up and hitting them right when they come up. It's not a just frame. It's almost it's, it's basically like a mini game, basically. But it, it's it's kind of fun. Uh, it, it's it, it's kind of a pain in the ass, but it's fun. And yeah. But yeah, those are like the main differences between all three of them. It's basically just uh, if you don't have the rhythm down, do this one. And if you do have the rhythm down, do that one. If you found any of this helpful, uh, leave a like because it will greatly help me out in the algorithm. And subscribe for more fighting game stuff. Uh, this has been Mr. Mister, and I'll see you in the next video.
Yeah, subscribe for more.